Hello and welcome to Renfrey uh, and a show which is broadcast from the interior of my flat. Oh, very nice. Oh. Very, very, very nice. Breathe the air and smell the luxury. <laughs> now, now at the moment, over here, uh, Dave, Paul, Jason and Martin. Uh, you share a flat together in Leeds. In Leeds. Very yeah, awesome. Yeah, 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 but it was awesome. Yeah. And over here, uh, Richard, Patrick, Jamie and Eddie, you too share a flat in Leeds. Yeah. And, a, and, a, and a flat that you're not very happy with. That's no. Right. Yes. Yeah. So tonight, you're trying to, to win something you've already got. But bear with me, because tonight, the place you could win is far superior to the place you live in at the moment. Of course, it won't be as nice as my place. Um, that'd be ridiculous. And, and, and that's no surprise. You simply aren't as important as me. <laughs> now, I see that you've been admiring the apartment. I'd like to think at the same time, picking up some useful interior design tips for your potential new pad. As you came down the stairs, you'll have brushed past Gustav Klimt's The Kiss. I think it says a lot about me and, and the kind of person that I am. And it gives my home and myself an air of refinement. It's an original print, although I believe you can get a copy of it from Athena. The frame, of course, would be extra. Anyway, that's my flat. Let's now take a look at the, at the kind of the unappealing sorts of places you live in at the moment. Let's start with Eddie, Jamie, Patrick and Richard. Uh, this is what you currently call home. The four clubbers all live in a house together in Leeds. We enjoy Leeds to the max. My name's Eddie Somerville, I'm 21 years of age. I work in the exciting world of insurance. The house, what can I say, cold showers on a, on a morning before you go to work, all you want is a nice shower, and obviously no hot water, you have to call in. It's a good wake-up call. And my name's Patrick Coakley, I'm 21 and I'm a claims administrator. Absolutely freezing, you can see my breath under in bed, and that's not really a nice feature. Uh, my name's Jamie Cook, and I'm a 19-year-old builder from Leeds. The kitchen's very small. Uh, we often struggle on a tea time when there's four of us trying to cook our dinner. My name's Richard Bates, I'm 23, and I'm working at Harvey Nichols in the stock room. The mould, there's a bit of mould we've got in some of the rooms. The mould started to creep into the bathroom. Eddie likes a good moan. Jamie's a menace. He'll prod you or he'll grab you or what have you. Pat's fate a hazard. Um, they smell absolutely terrible. <laughs> the reason I want to win uh, is really it's the playboy lifestyle. It'd be unbelievable. Girls, <laughs> I think definitely, because I mean you can't bring any high maintenance girls back to this dump. It'd be a nice one for the ladies. It'd be a nice pulling trick. I think it's all of our dream, really, just to live in somewhere just so nice, free, free here. Yeah. A little, a little cramped. Some would say, some would say snug though, as well. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the thing is, Eddie, uh, tell me for you, what is the single worst thing about the apartment that we've just seen? Uh, the fridge. Oh, so a six foot fridge in the living room, right. which often sort of <laughs> nasty buzzer on it, which will kick and. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> which, which, what do you hate apart from the fridge? What do you hate about the place? Um, there's mould in all the rooms, uh, especially Eddie's. It's just creeping down the wall, is it? Uh, and the bathroom is just absolutely all round. It's a bit crap. Yeah. <laughs> now, Jamie, you've already had some experience of mixing with the rich and famous, haven't you? Uh, you were twice an extra in Heartbeat. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You yeah. got Nick Berry's autograph as well. I'm a fuck, yeah. <laughs> Nick, 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 Nick Berry never really enjoyed the same success with his follow-up series, Harbour Lights. Did he? <laughs> good, good to get Nick's autograph when he was in his prime. <laughs> right. Let's just remind ourselves of what the real point of the show tonight is. The real point is that you four could be winning a beautiful apartment in Leeds, and it could be yours completely rent-free. <laughs> Can you win it? Yeah. Over here, are Dave, Jason, uh, Paul and Martin. Shall we see your current place? We're four hard-working Yorkshire boys who live in a dingy two-bedroom house. <laughs> Hi, my name's Martin Crew. I'm a printing assistant and I'm 32 years old. The bedroom situation is a total nightmare. It's one 18 by 12 bedroom divided into two. Can you imagine four lads trying to sleep in there together? It's not nice, my suit. Hi, I'm Jason Crew. I'm 29 years old and I'm a drama student from Leeds. With it being a small house, I don't really get the chance to uh, study. Uh, the guys are all very boisterous and very loud. I'm Dave Mitchell, I'm 29 years of age and I'm an engineer. 
to the bathroom, you could never get into it. That's always taken up. You've got Jason and Paul who are just never out of the bathroom at all. <laughs> <laughs> My name is uh, Paul Finney. I'm uh, 21 years old and I'm a printer in Bradford. When things get sorted out before they get to an arguing stage. Uh, the coin decides everything. Worst habits? I mean, Paul definitely likes his farts all the time. <laughs> it gets cold now and again. You have to uh, <laughs> warm the place up, don't you? Dave, is your vodka, man? Well, I don't know about that. That's allegedly, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Paul's definitely a poser. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Absolutely one way, yeah. one way yourself, yeah. The most annoying thing about Jason has got to be his fake tan. <laughs> <laughs> I can't deny it, really. I used to use some bed, but I use uh, kind of like bottle tan now. I love living with these guys. They're a great bunch. I want to win so bad because I'd have my own room. We're going to win the luxury flat. Let's do it! <laughs> So, so the man in the old place. Just, just to explain to me. So, what, is there only two beds in the whole in the whole in the whole house? Is two, bed, two beds plus a camp bed in one right, bedroom. Okay. Is there somebody says two beds in a camp bed day? Some nights there's nobody get a bed at all then. Uh, most of the time, I have to top and tail with this lad here. Do you really? Being close to his feet is not very really nice. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, no, but it's uh -huh. Paul. What does it mean to you? Uh, you know, this place. If you won it tonight, what would it would it change your life? It would, yeah, definitely. We need this flat. It's just too cramped where we live at the moment. All right, guys. Now, at the moment, uh, you're paying £40 a week uh, each to live there, which works out at more than £8,000 a year at the moment. Uh, now, uh, the, money, the money that you're saving tonight is pretty good in its own right, but that, that's really only 50% of the story. Because on top of that, you could have a luscious place for a whole year, completely rent-free. Yeah! We've seen the problematic sorts of places you live in at the moment and how much rent money you're chucking away. Now, let's see where you could be living instead. Oh. Gather round and have a look at this. Oh. For years, the trendy city of Leeds has been noted as one of the top three coolest parts of the United Kingdom. If you're a fan of being at the cutting edge, then you'll be right at home and you take charge of this beautiful New York loft-style apartment. This popular conversion of an old school offers the most beautiful surroundings that money can buy, including a suspended timber mezzanine, almost as nice as mine. You'll be living in the lap of luxury and there'll be plenty of opportunity to get to know your neighbours in the basement laundry that's only open to tenants of the complex. The only difficulty you face is shrugging off your current ordinary personas to make way for a whole new way of life. <laughs> What, what do you like best about it, Patrick? Uh, the, uh, the race floor, the mezzanine. Mezzanine, that's the mezzanine up there. Just like yours. Yeah. Martin, what did you think of the bedrooms that you saw there? Well, uh, you've got your own space. You can, you can just chill out, get in your own bedroom without yeah. falling over somebody, you know what I mean? Spoiling somebody's feet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's what you want, 12 months for that. And that's you've got quarter. a tenant's laundry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can do with that. No, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I can see you're all raring to go. Yeah. And uh, oh, you're wow. all quite wound up about this yeah. as well. So here's yeah. the rules, then, of rent free. Uh, you're playing a series of games where one of you goes head-to-head -head against somebody from the opposing team. It's crucial to win your game, because if you don't, you won't get to play in the all-important final round featuring my very own pub quiz machine. So it's important to win those solo games. And it is that final round which determines who will be holding the keys to the luxury apartment in Leeds. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. The, first, the first solo game is an arcade classic, because here within my apartment, I have my very own Pac-Man machine. Woo! Put your heads together over here, put your heads together over here, and decide who's going to play Pac-Man. Important to win this first game. All right, on this team, Martin, would you like to tell me who is going to play over here? We're going to go for Paul. You're going to play Pac-Man over here, and on this side? We're going to go for Jim. Come on. Okay, guys, what we're going to do, we need to decide who goes first. And the way we're going to do that on this show is using the Japanese game of Jan Ken Pon. Or, as it was popularly adapted over here, paper, scissors, stone. <laughs> so come over here and uh, put your right fist out until they get to about where my things are here. There and there. Look each other in the eye. And one, two, three. Oh! Yeah! All right. Come on! Stone, bit, scissors. Paul, it's up to you now. Would you like to go first or second? I'll take the challenge first. All right, mate. Let's play. Alright, alright, so now, there we go. 
there's the machine. Now, just in case you're reminding of the rules of Pac-Man, this is how it works. You have to guide Pac-Man around the maze, gobbling up all the dots in the quickest time without being caught by the ghosts. Happy and ready? Oh, yes. Step forward to the machine. And let's do some Pac-Man. All right, Paul, you're off. Uh, as I said, you have to gobble up as many dots as you can in the fastest time. You're doing well. It's a nice confident start. Good strategy going to the bottom of the screen first. All the ghosts are up in the top left corner now. Okay, you've got one on your tail. Get the bonus tell you there. That means you can eat them. As long as they're blue, you are temporarily immune to death. But when they turn back to their natural colours, if they catch you, you will only waste valuable time. Uh, there's another bonus kill there. You've got it! OK, you're up for 28 seconds. It's a good time, Paul. It's solid Pac-Man. You've got about a third of the screen left. They'll start to close you down about now. Uh, but nonetheless, it's been OK. I think you're trapped. They've got you! All right, this is time wasted now. Jamie might benefit from this later. You've got to keep your eye on the Pac-Man. Uh, 48 seconds now, only a few dots left. So if you can outrun them, this will still be quite a decent time. You're nearly there, that's it! Good one, mate. 54 seconds. Well done, mate. Good stuff, mate. Good time. Good start. Let's see if uh, Jamie can beat it. Swap over. <laughs> All right, mate, good luck. Uh, Paul Server, a very tough time to bend with. Seriously, that was a good time. Ready to go? Ready, mate, yeah. Step forward to the machine, Jamie. And let's do some Pac-Man. Right, you're off, Jamie. 54 seconds is the time to beat. The clock is now counting down. Paul only got killed once, so it's going to be quite tough to beat it. OK, so you've got a bonus pill in the top corner there. You've gone for it. The ghosts go blue. That means that you are temporarily invincible. You're on 36 seconds. I'd say you've got just over half the screen done. You're smiling. I can see why you're smiling, but you've still got a mountain to climb in my eyes. There's your next pill to go blue again. For the second time, you're kind of ignoring them. We're just ploughing on with the dots, which I think is a good idea. 20 seconds left now. You've been hit. OK, remember, Paul got hit the once as well. You can still do this. You've got quite a few dogs left to get. You're on 10 seconds. It's a tall order. Not long to go now. You've been caught again. Any chance you had of being Paul has probably gone now. Two, one, stop! That's it! Stop! Sorry, mate. All right. Paul's got a tough time to be. You've been all right. Let's head back. Come on. Uh, Jamie, do you feel as though you've let your mates down a bit? Do you feel as though... No, I don't feel like that. Oh. Patrick, can you get back in this? Of course we can. Definitely. Okay. All right, now, uh, Paul, congratulations. Come on. Jason, you were quite wound up during that, I thought. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gobsmacked. It was, it was an excellent performance. i tell you what, I mean, you got, you know, you got uh, caught by the ghost just the once, but it was. It was competent, it was clean, you knew where you were going, what you were doing. That may be an advantage uh, that sees you through tonight. We'll have to see what happens. But you can still get back in this, lads. No question about that, is there? No. 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 Now then, uh, this, is, this isn't your first brush with celebrity, is it, uh, Martin, Jason, uh, Paul and Dave? Uh, because you all live across the road from roly-poly, you've been framed presenter, Lisa Riley. That's right. Yeah. yeah that's is right. it true, isn't it? Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. If you win that stunning apartment tonight, you might find yourself neighbouring other uh, quite well-known personalities. What I would say, though, is, speaking as a minor celebrity myself, it's best not to get too close to people in the public eye. While many of us readily embrace the attentions of real people, like yourselves, we do need our space and can't be expected to be on duty 24 hours a day. Please try and bear that in mind. We'll respect that. Thank you, thank you. On with round two. It's called Lucky Seven. Uh, this is how it works. It's all about getting corks to bounce so they stand up on their ends, OK? There are three of you left to choose from on each team. Put your heads together and decide who's going to play and have a quick natter. Um, and that's it. All right, let's, let's lean back. Who's going to go into this round? Martin, on your team. Uh, we've gone for Dave. We've Dave, if you Dave. do this, you take a massive leap ahead. Who's playing over here? Richard. All right, then. Uh, we need to decide who gets the first go. So, again, we're going to play paper, scissors, stone. So come close to the come table. On, come on, come on, here we go, come on. All right, put your right foot out to about here. Let's see them here. Come on, come on. OK, come let's on. get the rhythm right. It's on three. Look it. each other come in on. the eye. And one, two, three. Yeah! yeah! Well done, All right, okay. 
All right, Jay. Go on, mate. It's up to you. Do you want to go first or second? I'll go first, man. Both of you come with me, and let's play. <laughs> All right, then. All right, then. Here we go. Move the board. All right, Rick. And that is now how important this is to your team. You need to get back in it here. You want you want down. Yeah. If you win here, you will level things. All right. Oh yes. Okay, Dave. You can't really afford to take your foot off the gas, can you? At this stage. It's day? not coming off, mate. Staying on. All right, mate. Here we go, then, guys. On, uh, best of luck. These are the rules. This is how it works. You take it in turns to drop these two corks. If a cork lands red end up, okay, you get one point. If a cork lands black end up you get two points. There's two corks, there's various combinations. That double top like that, that's four points, that's two points, that'd be three. Understand? Understand. It is the first to seven yeah. wins. You opted right. to go first? I'll go first. All right then, let's do some corking. Your first shot. Good to watch down like that. Ooh. All right. Very good, mate. One point. All right, Richard, your first go. See if you can at least level that. Here we go. No oh, points. Awesome. All right, Dave, you got, you got the advantage. Here we go with the second. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. Yes. Good drop. Three points. Very good set, mate. Takes you to four. Richard, you need to get back in there. Take your seat. Concentrate. There are four points. That is a great oh, shot. Oh, all right, four off. There you go. Oh, one red takes you to five. Richard, one black and a red, and it's yours. Good drop takes you to six. Dave, two reds that will win it for you. Hard luck, Dave. Uh, Richard, this is your chance. Once you win it, Richard, you've got to play both forks. Just one uh, red end up. We'll do it for you in your own time. Oh, oh. All right, gone over. You have to score exactly seven. Come on, Dave, lad. All right, Dave. Yeah. You need two. No. It could be two reds, it could be one black. When you're ready. Take a moment if you need it. Yep. This could easily be the turning point. Yeah! He's red! Richard, you're out! Oh, well done, mate. Well done, Dave. <laughs> let's head back. Here we go, lads. Come on, let's go back. <laughs> Richard and Jamie, uh, you are both out of the final. Eddie and Patrick remain at the moment. Uh, Eddie, you're staring down the barrel. We are indeed. Gutted. OK. Dave. It is looking good, isn't it, lads? Yes, it yes. is. Cool yeah. 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 Of course you can, man. Now, it's time for round three. Now, when ordinary people like yourselves want to go bowling, I imagine you have to ring in advance, book a lane, pay for it, and use public hire bowling shoes. <laughs> However, those rules don't apply when you're a television personality. Because I have here, in my flat, my very own, 10-pin bowling alley. Woo! So there's just two left to pick on either team. It's going to be either Eddie or Patrick over here, or Jason or Martin. Let's make a decision. Who's going to go bowling? Come on. All right, lads. OK. Let's start over here with the winning side at the moment. Martin, who's going to bowl? Myself. And over here? Myself. Eddie, yeah. best of luck. You need this. We do. Now, we need to decide who's going to bowl first. And again, we're going to do it with the paper, scissors, stone to come to the table. Let's see, uh, let's see your right fit about here, then, lads. Put it to about here. And... One, two, three. Yes! All right, mate. Come on, boys, come on! Okay, come on. Come on. All right, listen, listen, Eddie, do you want, do you want to bowl first or second? It's I'm going to bowl first. Let's play! All right, here she is. All right, then, Martin, Eddie, okay? You lose this, then you're going to be out, all right? Yeah. It could potentially be four brains against one yeah. in a pub quiz at the end. All right, you seem a bit edgy. I mean, you're sort of walking I'm nervous, around. yeah, I'm nervous. I mean, we're up against it, aren't we? 2-0 down. But yeah. I'm confident, I'm confident. All right, Martin, this is where Eddie could turn around for his team. Let's see how it goes on the night, yeah? All right, mate. All right. All right, let's see what happens. 
These are the rules. Okay, this is what you got to do. You've got five shots each. There are ten pins to aim at each shot. And after all five shots, the person who got most pins down in total is the winner. Martin, you're going to take that lane. So, take up your positions, please. And let's do some bowling. Eddie, in your own time. You have the first key shot. All right. You've got four down, OK? Four out of ten. Not a great start. All right, Eddie, you can take the lead here. Your second shot. Oh, it's a good shot! Nine down, 13 plays one. Martin, you can really do with a strike here. Keep the lead here. You need this, mate, when you're ready. Yeah. Nine, a great yeah. shot. It makes your score 22. Martin, you're on 11, as you know. Don't let the nerves get to you. No worries. Keep the focus. You've got an eight. Not bad, not bad. 22 plays 19 after three shots. And it's uh, your penultimate, Joe. So here we go. It's a slight one oh, shot to put out of the bag. All right, Martin, uh, even though this is your penultimate shot, you've got to get at least three. OK, you're on 19, uh, and Eddie's on 32. If you don't get at least three, it's over. This round goes to Eddie. Good, yeah. In your own time. Plays 32, Eddie. This is your final shot, okay? If you get six or more, you've won. Martin can't catch you. When are you ready? No! It's a seven, no! you've done it! You're back in the game, mate. Hard work, Martin, you've lost. Oh, you're back in the game, come on! All right, lads, good stuff there. You needed that, all right. Oh, uh, Martin, uh, never mind, mate. On the night, you can only do your best, as I said before. And if it goes for you, it goes for you. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Thing is, it's made it more of a match for us. Uh, I mean, it was nearly a whitewash. Big time. <laughs> yeah, it was getting that way. It wasn't was, it? wasn't it? Yeah. I, mean, I suppose, really, you are uh, the hero of the team now, Eddie. I won't say I'm the hero. We're all heroes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm pleased to win. Now, uh, you've probably noticed uh, that this is a genuine celebrity flat yeah. uh, over there you'll spot a picture of me with popular American film actress Rosie O'Donnell. It, it was taken when I was a run-through guest on her warmly received US talk show, Rosie. No, no, no doubt you'll remember her best as Betty Rubble in the somewhat disappointing live-action movie version of The Flintstones. I say disappointing. I did think Rick Moranis was good as Barney. <laughs> Now, on to our final game, uh, and this is the penultimate game. It's the one before the pub quiz climax. Uh, Jason and Patrick, you are the last ones left. Now, it's a solo game, but this time, uh, nobody actually gets eliminated. Instead, you're playing for this rent-free token. It's well worth having because it allows you to buy back one of your eliminated teammates. Or, if you prefer, in the pub quiz, you can swap any question which you don't know the answer to uh, for a new one. That's the token. Here's how to win it. It's in a game called Text Your Mates. It works like this. I'm going to set a question. You must text that question to as many mates as you can on the mobile phone I'm providing. Jason, take that. And Patrick, take that. You text the question along with my telephone number. One of your friends must phone me with the correct answer to the question. And this is important. Whoever's chum rings me first with the correct answer wins that crucial token on behalf of the team. This is the telephone your friends must ring me on. It's in a mod style, and it's very much 
the sort of telephone that Joe Wiley would use. <laughs> now, are you ready? Yep. Here comes the question. Which of the dwarves did not speak in Walt Disney's film Snow White and the Seven Dwarves? Let's do some texting. Now, none of you mates know you'll be texting them tonight, and when they call, you won't uh, hear them until I put them on speakerphone. Let's see some thumb action. You've got to keep that thumb. Press ah. Ah, ah, ah. Go down, go down. Press down, yeah. Now go ah. Thank you. Ah. Down again. Rob Coffee out of loop. Send. Down one. Ah. Down one. Rush door, go. Go, go, go. First message okay. sent. You can see on the screen. Yeah. Message right. sent. Right. Options again. Options again. Right. Right. Send. Send. Okay. Okay. Dave, who are you texting over there? What's been happening? Uh, my brother-in-law, Steve, I've got a, he's got his young one with him, so I'm pretty, pretty sure he, he's got a good chance of knowing it. Can't find him on there. Okay. Right, yeah. Okay. Find I'm him sure of it. All right. Eddie, what are you tell me? How many have you sent over here? How many I think we're looking at about four or five at the moment. You sent four or five? Yeah. Two have gone over here. Three now. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. Phone's down. Um, hello, Richard Bacon. Yes. Do you know who I am? I hope you do. You're very much my target demographic. <laughs> You've got a text message. Listen, I'm going to put you on speaker. All I want you to do is tell me your full name, first of all. So I'm putting you on speakerphone now. Tell me your full name. Ben Russell. Yes! 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 Come on, it's a residential area. What are you thinking? <laughs> All right, listen, Ben. Now, the answer you give me in a moment yeah. uh, could determine whether or not your friends yeah. win a luxury apartment Stop in Leeds. Right. Now, tell us then, uh, what do you think the answer to the question is? Bashful. Okay, Ben. I can tell you that that is the wrong answer. Oh, come on. Uh, I'm going to have to cut you off. Go right, right. Come on. That's it. Carry on texting. Here we go. It's anyone's game, sir. You've got to be quick and get as many uh, messages sent as possible. Okay. Eddie, tell us over here. Who are you texting over there? Oi, 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 oi. Right, okay. Here we go. Phone's yeah. down. Hello, uh, Richard Bacon. Hello there. Uh, you've just got a text message. Good. Listen, you've, uh, you're speaking to a television presenter called Richard Bacon, and you're, you're on a prestigious TV show. Now, listen, I'm going to put you on loudspeaker. Tell us your name. Mofan Qureshi. And you were sent a text which said, which of the dwarves did not speak in Walt Disney's film Snow White and the Seven Dwarves? Yeah. Tell me what you think the answer is. Drop it. It's the right answer. You might, Mr. Qureshi, yeah. you, you might well have uh, helped your friends win a plush new apartment in Leeds, to which I imagine you'll be invited. Yeah. Come on, we'll come on, 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 come and Martin, you three are the guys who were eliminated <laughs> and you were out of the final round. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to relocate briskly to my mezzanine. Meanwhile, can the rest of you accompany me to the pub quiz finale? It's time to play for that apartment in Leeds. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is uh, the final round, and the point where one of you two teams will win the keys to the apartment. Here are the rules. There are five questions for each team with multiple choice answers. Whichever team gets the most right wins. Whichever team that is, will be moving in here first thing tomorrow. Yes, that's right. One of you two teams will be moving into this beautiful loft-style apartment in West Leeds. This great two-listed building was once a school and will certainly provide you with a sound education in feeling privileged, rent-free. All right, lads. It's, it's in a prime residence and it could be yours. Yes! Yeah! Oh! 
on. It could be yours. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Come on. All right. Now, uh, Paul, Dave, and uh, Jason, uh, you won the token. Uh, so uh, your team now has a choice. Okay. Remember, you can either buy back Martin, who's up there. Yeah. Of course, technically, he is a loser. And who wants a loser <laughs> on their side? You can, if you prefer, swap and exchange a tricky question for another. That other question might be easier, it might be harder. But that's your choice. It's a tactical decision. Do you want to put your heads together? And, uh, no, we've got later. We'll bring them back. Nice. All right, lads. Come on, lads. Come, on, team, come, on nice. come on, then, Martin. Get back down here. Here we go. All right. Come on, nice. All right. Good one. Good one. Good one. Here you go. All right, and uh, best of luck to both teams. So it's, it's four brains against two. That's how it shapes up. Remember, the prize is a whole year's luxury accommodation in Leeds for four rent-free. Yeah. Right, we need, to, uh, we need to decide who gets the first question. So again, we're going to play paper, scissors, stone. So bring your fist back here, look each other in the eye, and one, two, three. All right, stone beats scissors. All right, Patrick, it's up to you. Would you like first or second question? I'll go first. OK. I've got a remote control here, so I'm going to press a button and say lights down. Music up. Oh. And from now on, I'm going to speak in a soft, measured manner, similar to that employed by fairly senior BBC sports reporter Rob Bonnet. <laughs> it's question one for Eddie and Patrick. What is the main ingredient in a daiquiri cocktail? Is it A, sherry, B, rum, or C, gin? I haven't really got a clue of you it. No. I think it might be wrong. No, that's any, any idea. Yeah, um, I wasn't thinking so much. Yeah. Bit of a guess, but you're for rum. That is your uh, final decision. You said rum. You're not that sure. It's a right answer. Yeah! 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 Yes! All right, let's see where we are. We'll add the green one for you on the bottom there. That's your first question of five. All right then, guys. Here's your first question. Which alcohol is traditionally used in a Bloody Mary? Is it A, tequila? B, vodka? Or C, rum. We're going to go with uh, B, vodka. You know that one, lads? Yeah, we're pretty confident on that one, yeah. Okay. There we go. All right, I can tell you that that is the correct answer. Yeah! Come on! Come on, guys. All right, well done. Okay. Swan all. Swan all. Okay, it could go either way right now. Here's your second question, all right? Who directed Star Wars A New Hope in 1977? Eddie and Patrick, is it A, Steven Spielberg, B, George Lucas, or C, Harrison Ford? For B, yeah, George yeah. Lucas. OK, B, seems fairly positive. It's the correct answer. Yes! Come on, man. All right, two more. Dave, Martin, Jason and Paul. Here's your second question. Who is the voice of Buzz Lightyear in Disney's Toy Story? Is it A, Tom Hanks, B, Woody Allen, or C, Tim Allen? I think it's, I think it's Tom Hanks. Woody. Woody. Hey. Woody. I'm not, I'm not uh, Woody's um, Sylvester Stallone, I think. I'm sure of Tom Hanks. I think Tom Hanks. I'm not on the Twitter. Well, we'll go with that, yeah. It's all right. Yeah, um, what, what are you going for? What are you going for? I'm not going for Tim Allen. I'll go with Tim Allen. I think it's Tim Allen. Yeah. I think it's Tim Allen. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll go with Tim Allen. We're going to go with C. Okay, Tim Allen. Wait selection now. I can tell you that C, Tim Allen, is the correct answer. Yes! Come on! Well done, well done, baby. Patrick, this is your third question of five. And it reads like this. The Azores are part of which European country? Is it A, Spain, B, Greece, or C, Portugal? I'd probably say Portugal. Yeah, that's what I'm not sure why. No. Spain's got the Pyrenees, yeah. Greece. No idea. Yeah. Just go for I'd Portugal. Go for Portugal, mate. Oh, yeah. go for Portugal. Okay, make a selection now. I can tell you that that 
is the correct... Yes! Yes! Dave Martin, Jason and Paul, this is your uh, third question. You get this wrong, you go behind. Here's the question. Mount Everest lies across which two countries? Is it A, Tibet and Nepal? B, India and Nepal? Or C, Kashmir and Nepal? It's... I think it's what you're Kashmir, Kashmir is like Pakistan, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, India, Tibet. I don't, I don't know. It. I don't think it's Tibet. You know. You don't. No. What do you think, Adam? I don't. think it is Kashmir. I mean, I could be wrong. I'm not. But I'm. I'm strapped a bit to better to better monks. Obviously, we've got the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Come across now. No, I mean, I want you. I just want to go for this. Well, I've no idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess I'll go with that because I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That's a lot. B might be, but I'm not sure. Go with what he said. He's got instincts, yeah. Okay, if I've got it, we'll go for it. Right. I mean, if you're happy with odds. Relying on big man. Cool. Right. Cheers, lads. Uh, we're going to go for A, Tibet and Nepal. Okay. Big selection. And I can tell you that that is the correct answer. Yay! Well done, Martin. <laughs> yes. Come back over to you, Eddie and uh, Patrick. Here's your fourth question. Which spacecraft took Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin to the moon? Is it A, Apollo 11, B, Apollo 12, or C, Apollo 13? It's not Apollo 13. No. Um, um, what do you think? We've got 50-50 here. I know, mate. Apollo 11. I think it was Apollo 12. Yeah, again, mate, I'm struggling. Yeah, um, um, I'd go with you on yeah, 12, mate. On, oh, yeah, Apollo 12. 12. Yeah. Tough question, man. Big time. You selected B, Apollo 12. I can tell you that B is the wrong answer. Yeah! Yes! Come on! Come on, man. Sorry, guys, it was. It was Apollo 11. You can take the lead now, guys. Here's your penultimate question. Yuri Gagarin made his first trip into space in which space capsule? Is it A, Sputnik 1, B, Vostok 1, or C, Cosmos 1? Speak up, guys, so we can hear you. Well, we, we think it's a... Uh, we've, we've all got as good feelings that we've had. Well, it's like your good feelings. It's like good feelings. Well, it's like your good I'm not big on going out from space. Like we've, yeah. we've just got all... Yeah. We've all just got a good feeling, yeah. and it's all the same, so we're going to go for it. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Yeah. We're not going to yeah. diddle yeah. A. We're going to go for yeah. that button. Yeah. A, Sputnik. Yeah. There we go. OK. I can tell you that A, Sputnik 1, is the wrong answer. Yes! yes. Cool. The correct answer would be Vostok 1. It's all even after four questions. It's three all. Here we go then, here's your fifth question, Patrick and Eddie. Here's how it reads. What nationality was the author Leo Tolstoy? Is it A, Romanian, B, Hungarian, or C, Russian? Oh, I think it's Russian, but I wish it said Russian, English, or Welsh. Again, man, I'm, I'm not guessing. I'm gonna have to go for Russian. Yeah, just go with your instinct. Go. Yeah, it's gonna have to be. It's gonna have to be. Russian. All right, said C, Russian. You said that Leo Tolstoy is Russian. I can tell you that that is. It's the correct answer. Yes! Yeah! This is it now, lads. James, Paul, Martin and Jason. You came down here to this end game with a great advantage. It all comes down to this one question now, though. If you get this wrong, then you know that you leave here with nothing. Here's your question. Which British author wrote The Road to Wigan Pier in 1937? Is it A, Graham Greene, B, George Orwell, 
or C, E, M, Forster. Um, and I think it's George Orwell. Right, so it's in gone. 37. Can you eliminate anyone? Can you... Oh. Anybody go into A book by E.M. Foster. I think it's green. I don't, it's don't know. I don't know what it is. Something's come to me. I think it might be green. Orwell. 1984. What I mean, that was that was on all my things. I don't know. Green just stuck at me. It's just a gut instinct. It's just there. It's like a shot in the dark. Green. Green. Well, we'll try it. Green, green. Right then. We go for A. Green, green. All right. You have made your selection, which is A. Graham, green. And I can tell you that that is the wrong answer. <laughs> George Orwell. So I'm really, really sorry, guys. Well, yeah. It was an amazing game. I mean, you came in here with a great advantage, as you know. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I'm afraid that's it. So I have to ask you to leave now. Yeah. Nice to meet you, guys. Cheers. Really yeah. sorry. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh my God. That's it. All right, so come on, come in close, so listen. Congratulations. All right. Cheers. It was two of you against four. Yeah. Well done. Oh, now yes. tell you something. You've got yourself. A bedroom each. Yes! You've got a fully fitted kitchen and you've got the aforementioned communal laundry oh, area. Yes! Oh, 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 all right, guys, listen. As a, as a special treat, uh, I've prepared a grand finale, okay? It's in the fish tank, which I'm going to allow you as a special gift, as a housewarming gift. You can take the whole thing with you. There's no actual fish in there because the keys in the bottom are there, Patrick. Congratulations. Well done, Eddie. Well done, Patrick. Well done. That's it, guys. All right, listen, that's asking to leave my place now as well. So that's it. Nice to meet you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Right, see you again next time when two more teams will be competing to live in their dream apartment rent free. Good night. Yeah, really good. But, like we said, all along with a great set of lads, keep living together. Who knows?